is up guys? My name is Taylor and this is a uh, response to Hutch in his video that he just made and I know that everybody is making responses to this but uh, you know what as a member of this community uh, just like all of you I feel like I have uh, a few things to say about it and um, you know if I am reiterating what other people said I do apologize the only response I have watched thus far is uh, Woody's Gamer Tags. Woody's Gamer Tags. It's a weird awkward way to say it but um, anyway Hutch was talking about um, all these changes in the community and uh, how he's not too favorable of a lot of them. And uh, if you're watching the gameplay, just realize this is a re-upload from way, way back in the day. And if you have seen this gameplay before, then congratulations. You are a diehard Mercadurka fan, and I love you a uh, long time. So, anyway, <laughs> let's keep this going. Um, if you have not watched my commentaries before, welcome, because I'm sure quite a few of you are going to pop in because you're just going to see these response videos and go for it. So, uh, welcome. Thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy. But, um, yeah, a little bit of a background for me. I do these commentaries uh, solely for fun. Yes, I'm a Machinima director, but um, I don't see this as an obligation. If I don't feel like uploading for, I don't know, four, five, six days, I'm not going to. Um, usually, thankfully, I find this is a really fun hobby. I'm very busy with school. I'm a college student. And when I'm getting really stressed, just like tonight, had a lot of studying to do, I figured, how can I cool down? And I was like, I, I'm just going to do a commentary. That'll help me wind down, get my mind off of things, and... Uh, yeah, I did a commentary earlier, actually over this same topic, and uh, actually as it was halfway through rendering, I realized that, uh, you know, it wasn't what I wanted to talk about. I talked about the situation with uh, Hutch's commentary and responding to that, and I listened to it again, and I realized that uh, I was talking too much about me. I was talking about how I was involved in the community, and how this affected me, and how I was going to react to it, and how it was just a me, 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 me game, and that's not how I want to be. Um... The entire essence of what he was talking about is the change in the community, and uh, if anything, I want to talk about how I am in the community, not how, uh, I don't know, the community should revolve around me, because that's, that's a selfish way to look at it. But uh, anyway, let me get down to, let's get down to brass tacks. <laughs> I don't even know if that makes sense, whatever. Um, the whole addition of money and partnerships and uh, getting paid for views and um, all of these things has really drastically changed uh, the way the way commentators view this and you know a lot of it sucks and the reason it sucks is uh, the quality of the content has drastically decreased um, you watch a commentary from I don't know six months ago and then you watch one from now and chances are a lot more time and effort was put into that one six months ago than they are now because it seems as though now all that people want to do is just be like, all right, finish that one, let's start the next one. All right, we finish that one, let's start the next one. We finished that commentary, throw it out, start the next one. And it's just, I don't know, I don't really care for it. I feel as though uh, these people who are uploading five, six, some people seven videos a day uh, just for the sake of getting views, that's... I don't know, that's just not okay. That's not respectful to people who join their channel to watch quality content, and I just don't I just don't think that's okay. There, of course, uh, let me re reiterate that there are people out there that can put out four or five videos a day, and they can all be entertaining. There are people out there who can do that. But uh, with most people, it seems as though it's a rush. It seems as though it's an obligation now. Uh, you watch an old commentary, and it seems like people are having a good time. They are having fun. If they didn't want to do the commentary that day, they didn't have to. There was no pressure to, because that commentary, regardless of what day they put it up, was going to make zero dollars and zero cents, and it didn't make one bit of difference. Nowadays, it seems like, well, haven't put up a commentary in 14 hours. Better put one out so I can keep my views up and be on the most viewed list and uh, make some money. And I, I don't know. I just... If you're a goal in this, I'm not going to talk about the money aspect because um, everyone's different. Everyone's financial status, everyone's uh, I don't know, financial, where they are in life. Um, I'm a college student. I could use money for sure. As you guys know, uh, college students are not renowned for their wealth and uh, <laughs> how they can afford to just buy anything. But um, you know what? Lots of people do need money. That's the way of the world. Um, you need money to buy things, obviously. Why am I telling you that? That's an absolutely retarded thing to say. But... Uh, you know what, I'm not going to touch on the money thing because that is arrogant and selfish to say that it's not a big deal because to some people this is a big deal and they do need the money that they uh, accrue from this hobby. Uh, so I'm not going to talk about that. I'm going to talk more about the fame aspect that uh, Hutch touched on. Hutch, touch, Hutch, touch. Hutch touches little girls. That was a funny video. Was that what it's called? I don't know. But uh, he talked about how this is a very, very, uh, I don't know, fame-based community now. It seems like everybody is trying to get their name out there, trying to get, uh, so they're one of the big 
big all-stars that everybody's like, oh my gosh, look at that guy. He's so cool. He puts videos on YouTube. and <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I understand how it can be so tempting to want to be, quote, famous when you're sitting in front of your computer and looking at the views, looking at the comments, looking at your subscriber number go up, uh, looking at, uh, I don't know, it's, it's tempting to be narcissistic when you're sitting in front of your computer, looking at your channel, and seeing all those numbers go up and up and up, and you just think to yourself, wow, I am so great. Look at how successful I am. Look what I made for myself. And you know what? It's easy. I'm not going to lie and say that I haven't uh, felt cocky about it sometimes. And uh, you know what? That's completely not justified. I've had plenty of friends help me to get to where I am. Um, by no means did I do this by myself. And so uh, I will ne I will never take credit for uh, me like building myself an empire because you know what? My friends have had a great impact on me. But anyway, that's not what this is about. Um, this whole famous thing. If you want to be famous, you chose the wrong outlet. I apologize. Video game commentaries is not the way to be famous. You may feel, if you're one of the huge commentators, and I'm kind of talking to you on this, um, as well as to myself, because it's been a recent realization to me that I'm not going to be famous, I'm not going to be some huge all-star, um, because even people like Hutch, C. Nanners, the biggest of the big in the name, uh, in our little community, uh, they go outside, they see someone on a street corner, they walk up and they say, oh, hi, my name's C. Nanners, nice to meet you. Uh, no, they, people aren't going to know what he's talking about, they're going to think he's an insane person, and they... None of us are famous. None of us are at all famous. And of course, you can go back to the stories where people get recognized, where people uh, like Tabe said that he was recognized at an airport or something. But uh, you know what? I don't know. I just feel as though this whole fame thing struck pretty recently with uh, the advent of these new uh, channels that were made primarily to like, I don't know. I don't know. It just seems as though uh, the focus has shifted a lot from, shifted a lot from the... Uh, having fun mentality to the all publicity is good publicity mentality. And uh, I already left that comment on, uh, on Hutch's video, and I just thought I would reiterate that. Um, I don't quite know. I feel as though uh, all this drama on YouTube, all these things are just used to propagate views. Um, it's just getting kind of silly that people are trying to get famous and by any means necessary. And if that means calling someone out and making fun of them, and uh, completely berating them for no reason at all, uh, just to get more views and just to get more popular and just to get your name out there. It's it's just it's just not okay. And I'm really really uh, saddened by the way this community is turning. And of course, of course, of course, of course, you guys don't have to say. Uh, I know this doesn't apply to most people. And you know, I'm really only talking to a select few. Um, and I don't even know who those few are 100. percent I know uh, I'm pretty. I know the traits that I'm disliking, but uh, there aren't. Of course, different people fit different traits, and I'm, I'm not going to say anything else because I don't want anyone to feel like I'm hating on them because that is not my intent at all. I'm just trying to, I don't know, project my opinion and let you guys know what I think about this. Um, and of course, uh, feel free to leave me a comment if you guys are watching this. Tell me what you think. By no means at all is my opinion any more uh, any more valid than yours. You guys are just a part, just as much a part of this community as I am. Uh, just because I make videos doesn't mean that I have... Uh, like, I'm super cool and awesome and everybody has to listen to me. If you guys uh, disagree with what I'm saying, by all means, please tell me. Tell me in the comment section. Tell me what you think about this, um, about this whole getting famous, getting known, getting cool, uh, this whole mentality that seems to be sweeping over the community recently. Um, the whole subscriber thing. I've said it once and I will say it again. Your number of subscribers does not at all reflect uh, the quality of your videos. Uh, two people come to mind. Try Hard Ninja and uh, Miller Lightweight, two people that I have been subscribed to for a long, long time, uh, put out fantastic videos, and you know what? Both of them have way, way less subscribers than me. And you know what? Does that mean that my videos are, uh, I don't know, ten times better or five times better or however, I don't even know the subscriber multiplication, but no, it doesn't mean that at all. It just is coincidental. And you know what? Um, it's just kind of a sad realization that subscriber count and view count and all these things have just started to play so much of a role in uh, this community. And I don't know, that's what I have to say about it. It is sad that uh, so much of this is just numbers based now. It's like, oh, you only got 10,000 views on that video? Well, I got 30,000 views on my video. That means mine was three times as good. Uh, no, and you know what? If my opinions did hurt anyone's feelings out there, or you feel that I'm just flagrantly wrong and spouting off about nonsense, let me know. Uh, I am interested in hearing what you guys have to say, but please do so in a respectful manner. 
I really do want to hear your opinions. I don't want to hear someone being like, uh, stupid asshole faggot, and then like, just yell at me for no reason. So let me know what you guys think. I'm really interested to hear it. Um, Hutch, if you are watching this, thank you for calling out the community on this. I really do appreciate it. Uh, it shows that you still care and that you do, uh, I don't know, still want to play a positive role in this community. Thanks a lot. And to you guys, thank you for watching.